becomes black holes. The collapse of a core of a massive star, having lost its hydrogen envelope to a black hole, leaves little behind. These stars won't contribute much to future generations. The only thing you will see is the tombstone of high energy jets and an accretion disk of infalling material betraying a star's grave. If a star is a little more massive, between 140 and 280 solar masses, instead of a black hole, the collapse will turn into what is known as a pair instability supernova. The first stars are so hot that they form electron-positron pairs, which robs a large amount of energy from the star, causing it to burn even hotter to maintain equilibrium. This creates even more electron-positron pairs, and the whole star explodes. These massive outbursts are so bright, they will outshine all stars in the universe combined. The first stars of the universe were the earliest discrete sources of light that heralded the end of the Dark Ages. They transformed the light elements formed in the Big Bang into heavy ones, ultimately making life and us possible. The Webb Space Telescope will offer us our first glimpse into this crucial time. With its unparalleled detectors and optics, we will for the first time, have observations of the first stars and the galaxies that incubate them. We will have looked back at our ultimate progenitor and directly into the face of creation. <laughs>